Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally filming my favorites for the month of February. I genuinely feel like February just flew by. Like did February even happen? I don't know. I know we had Valentine's Day, Chris's birthday, but other than that, I feel like it's a full on blur. So I don't have a whole bunch of products to show you guys, but the things I will show you, I genuinely love. So let's just get right into the video. All right, so the first order of business is my Algenis Liquid Collagen Hand Cream. So this guy has been a huge lifesaver for me. I have a hand cream in my tote bag that I carry with me all the time, and I keep this little guy next to my bed because it's a little bit more thick in consistency. Um, and I find that this is like the best hand cream I've ever tried. So I have super dry hands. I wash my hands quite frequently. I don't have a dishwasher, so I'm also the one doing the dishes. Um, where I work, I'm constantly washing my hands. So they get super, super, super dry. And this is the only hand cream that I have found really works for me. It's super buttery, but it's also really thick in consistency that you know it's going to really you know, deeply moisturize your hands and all the dry spots. I get really dry spots like right here in my little, is this called the flagina? Is that correct? I feel like in high school, everyone used to say like weenus and flagina, but I never knew that was the correct term, but I get super dry right there. It gets really disgusting looking um, and my hands really crack and they hurt a lot. But like I said, this is the only hand cream that I find really works for me. Um, I also have a jar of Cetaphil next to my bed that I'll like lather on my hands. But in terms of hand cream, this is by far my favorite. All right, so I also have a product from Bare Minerals. This I've had for a while. Um, I think I worked with Bare Minerals on this Bounce and Blur campaign back in the summer. And they gifted me with four different blush colors. I always use Coral Cloud, I believe it's called. It's a very pretty pink coral color. Um, there's another one that's like mauve mood or something, which is like more of a deeper raspberry tone, which looks gorgeous in the fall. Um, but I never used this guy, so this is in Blurred Buff. And it's just this impeccable tan but peachy color. And when you apply on your cheeks, it gives you this gorgeous sun-kissed glow, which I thought Coral Cloud always did to me, but this is a whole different level. So what I love about the Bounce and Blur blushes is it's the typical like cream to powder formula, um, but they're just super easy to blend out and they're so lightweight and they're so forgiving. So if I apply it a lot, I can just use my fingers to blend it out or I can just use my foundation brush to help lighten the color, but this, shade I've been loving. I started using it maybe about three weeks ago and I just haven't used any other of my blushes because this color is just so incredible. We're excited to also use this when I have a tan because I feel like this shade can go with any. Hello? Hello? So I think this shade, oh my goodness. So I think this shade can go with most complexions. It's super light and forgiving, like I said. You can really pack on the color as much as you would like. And I'm excited to try it when I'm nice and tan in the summer. All right, so following the theme of beauty products, I also have a primer from The Roots. So I never use primers, so I don't really wear makeup very much. And when I do, I do not plan on wearing it for a very long time. So I just haven't used a primer in forever, honestly. Um, but I was gifted this along with the um, gold peel, which you're supposed to use these in conjunction. Um, this is called the Girlfriend, and it's just a really pretty, glowing, dewy, hydrating, illuminating primer. So many words there, um, but I really love this. So when you first pump it out, it comes out as really thick goop almost um, and then when you rub on your face it becomes so satin and almost like silicone feeling but I'm not so sure if silicone is in this primer um, I don't have the ingredients on here but it's just it's such a pretty primer it has like little flecks of gold so it gives you this perfect little glow um, I sometimes wear this just by itself but I also love to wear it underneath my foundation to just give me that extra boost of glow so I really love this. It's super lightweight as well, which I am a huge fan of. I've used primers in the past when I was really into makeup that were just so thick and like goopy-like that I could like feel an extra layer on my skin, but this makes it feel like 
you just have nothing on your skin. So I really have been loving this primer, right? And if you notice anything different on my face, you can see that I have a little bit of freckles. I don't know if they're picking up on my camera, but um, Cedar Labs, I believe that's how you pronounce them, they produce these little um, freckle products, I guess you can say, if I can get this out. So it comes in this little case, um, and I can't get mine out at the moment. So this is a product, it's called Freckles, but with 7F, it's a pH, and I have shade 3. So this is water resistant as well, and I've really been loving this. Shade 3 is the darkest shade that they have, they have one, two, and then I have the third. Um, I really have been loving this. I have always wanted freckles. Um, I have a lot of beauty marks in my face, and I've tried, you know, using eyeliner for freckles or using henna. But this I have come to love. This is the, by far the most natural looking way to fake freckles. Um, so basically what you do is it comes with this little pick, which is what you use to kind of flick the brush and splatter the product on your face to give the illusion of freckles. It's just a super forgiving formula. It's water resistant. So you can wear this to the beach if you would like, which is what I'm definitely gonna do. Um, but I have really been loving this. This was gifted to me. I saw an ad for them on Instagram and I had reached out to them because I was so curious about how it wears, how easy it is to apply, and it has ticked off every single box of my expectations. It's super easy to use. You want to do it on an everyday basis, part of your makeup routine, like how I kind of have been doing it, or you just want to use it for like every now and then, or just use in the summer when you have a nice glowing tan. But I just have really been loving the look of freckles, and I think they're really fun and cute. Right, so I have a perfume here. So this is from Clean Beauty Collective, and this was another item that was gifted to me. Um, I just made an Instagram post about them, but I have used C by Giorgio Armani for years. And I don't know if the formula has changed or if my own senses have changed, but I'm just not loving it. And it's a shame because I just bought a brand new bottle. So I have a completely full bottle of C, but I just haven't been wearing it. I'm not a huge fan of the scent anymore. Um, but I was gifted this and I, oh my goodness, this smells so amazing. It's super light and clean smelling, but the scent, or the family scent, is Floral Musk. The name of this one is Radiant Nectar, and it just smells, ugh. I don't know how to describe it other than Floral Musk. Those are like the perfect two words to describe this perfume. But it's also just very lightweight and clean. It's not aggressive at all. It's not going to burn your nose. It's not going to burn the nose of people around you. It's just a really, beautiful scent plus i love the packaging how minimalistic it is and just goes hand in hand with the name of clean beauty collective it's a super clean packaging um they are also in partnership with earthday.org i believe is the name of the website um to help preserve the environment and animals and plants i've really been loving this i stand by the brand and their initiative to be more eco-conscious and also help out the bees and the environment um, but also just love the scent in general, right? And if you know me, then you know that I never wear nail polish. Um, I used to way back when, but I, I just don't. I stopped wearing it. But I recently worked with a brand called Dashing Diva, and I have all these awesome little nail stickers, I guess you can call them. So they are these like gel nail stickers. And it's what I have on currently. They're just so fun and super easy to use. And they make, like they feel like actual gel nails. Like I feel like I just went to um, the nail salon and got a manicure. Like they feel and look like actual gel nail polish, but they're not, they're these little stickers. And the first time I tried them, I wore them for two weeks straight and I had absolutely no issues. None of them started peeling. None of them got weird or anything. It was just super easy to put on and to wear. And so I've really been loving them. They come in a whole different variety of colors, prints, designs, 
they're just really fun. So if you're someone like me who doesn't, you know, paint their nails anymore, or if you're someone who was never good at it, or you're someone who doesn't want to pay the price to go to a nail salon, I definitely recommend Dashing Diva. I, I believe these are sold at Target, and I think they're like $6.99 or $7.99, and you get 34 strips in a pack, and they last two weeks. So $7.99 for this is totally worth it, and I'm definitely recommending this to all my friends because they're just super easy to use. So I think these are really fun for those special occasions. You just pop them on, file off the excess, and then you have these awesome looking nails, which looks like you just left the salon. All right, so I have two more items and they are clothing items. And I could not do a monthly favorites without a jacket, supposedly. So I have here my jacket from Uniqlo. And this was a Valentine's gift from Chris. This is their super down. I don't know if this is a super down. I'm thinking of the Ritzia super down here. Um, this is a down. I don't know the technical name for it, and I believe it is no longer on the Uniqlo website. However, they do have a jacket that's similar to it. It's just a little bit lighter. Um, but this, I have been loving. So I saw it in Uniqlo um, when Chris and I were in there a few months ago, and I tried it on because I love the color of this, the shade of red. It's not like a super like aggressive dark red. It's just more of like a tomato red. I don't know, um, but it's just a really fun color and I don't wear much color as you can tell. So it's really fun to have this as a little pop in my outfits. Um, it's super, super heavy. It's super durable and I wear it all around the city and I don't feel any wind whipping through my jacket. Um, I still love the cut of it. It's cut like right at my waist. So it doesn't look like it's consuming me, um, but it is fitted a little bit oversized. I believe this is an extra small, which is my normal size, um, but it is a little bit oversized fitting. So it just gives you this cool look. I don't know, it's, it's really fun. Um, I've genuinely been loving it. And then for my very last February favorite item, I have this little pajama set. I say pajama because that's what I think it's labeled at labeled as on the website, but it's not. Um, or it, it could be, but you can also wear it out. Um, but it's this little set from Nasty Gal, and it's this tan and white stripes crop knit, and it has these gorgeous big bell sleeves. When I wear it, because I'm pretty small, um, and I put my hands down, it looks like I don't have any hands because this is like the full length of my arm and it covers all my fingers, so it looks kind of funny, but it's really cute. And then it comes with these little shorts um, they can pair it with, and it's just so comfy. I haven't really been wearing the shorts just because it's still like 50 degrees here. Um, however, I've been wearing this top so much. It's just so comfy and super easy to throw on. I have paired it with blue jeans, black jeans, and I've also worn it with a pair of white jeans, which I recently purchased from Princess Polly um, and my Blundstones. And it's just a super easy outfit. This is just, like I said, super comfy, super easy to throw on. I think it'd be really fun for the beach in the summer as well. Um, but a cool thing is I saw this originally on Princess Polly's website. I think it was like $70, maybe like $80. Then I also saw it on Nasty Gal, and it was like $30 on Nasty Gal. So I went that route. It's the exact same set. If you're looking for a little cheat on this, check out Nasty Gal. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't have a whole bunch of stuff to show you, but these are things I've really been loving this month, or last month, I should say, because now it's March and this video is late. But I'm just super excited that we are heading more into spring and warmer temps because I miss that. I am not a cold gal at all. I need the sun and it to be at least 75 degrees. So I'm very, very excited for the warm weather. But all in all, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all these products down below and I will see you guys next video.